Hello and welcome to another CAD clip on AutoCAD 2007 3D. In this lesson we're going to talk a little bit more about the sweep um, tool which we can see up here on our uh, dashboard under our 3D make and a couple things that go with it and I'm just going to start by getting kind of cute here and inserting an image of my baby bun. So I'm going to bring her in here plop it on there as a billboard and then I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to use my move command and I'm going to grab that and I'm going to move it out by a smidgen off the surface and you see how you can move stuff in 3D while in perspective mode which is like oh move that up maybe I just want to use my 3D move command or use this tool up in here okay so my point being is that we're going to um, use a sweep tool now one of the best ways I find when people ask me how do you do a sweep you know well, how do you get the polyline to do that edge sweep well one thing is what I usually do is I just you know literally type PL for polyline and then I'll go around and click on that now the first thing I'm gonna do is check my settings in my OSNAP and I'm gonna just turn everything off except for endpoint and then I'm gonna just use a polyline tool and then I can go endpoint to endpoint around there now let's just have a look those are the same of uh, or have been joined together let me go to wireframe here just in case I'm gonna trying to get a polyline around here and then do a sweep so I'm gonna type PL for polyline there we go so that's the quickest way you know someone says how do you get a polyline to go around there to do your sweep and then we go in here and we say sweep um, and then we pick this enter and then we pick this as our path and then we get our sweep and we can do our sweep that way and that was based on centroid and you can review our other sweep tool as different ways to change the base point of that profile so there is just drawing a polyline now what if if the polyline you know jogs around okay I'm gonna go back to my wireframe because that seemed to be successful I'm gonna click on here and erase that I'm gonna use not just a polyline I'm gonna do a 3d polyline watch 3d poly on the keyboard enter and now watch I can go I can start and I can do a 3d polyline because because in general I'm and I'm typing end here to get that end and it doesn't seem to be there we go Sometimes I had have to type END. So you can just continue along wherever you want to go and then hit enter. That is now a 3D polyline. Okay. Regular polylines only fit on one plane. If I take that 3D polyline and move it over there, okay, I've got a weird oh you can see I've got a problem with that. I'm wondering if I can just use my grips, my object snap to bring that down. Okay, let's try moving it back and see if I can fix this. End point of here to end point of there. Okay, I'm going to take that grip and I'm going to move it to that end point. See how great 3D polylines are? Okay. Okay, and then you can use your last. Watch, M for move, L for last, enter. Okay, and then I can shift middle mouse button while I move that over just to kind of see if I got it right looks good I'm gonna hit escape shift middle mouse button go back over here the main thing is I have now a 3d polyline now I can do my sweep again sweep pick my circle or whatever profile I want hit enter I can change my base point and my alignment and all that good stuff okay and all I'm gonna do is hover over here and click on there and I've got my sweep I go back to my profile here and then maybe I'm gonna use my paint option and know paint it blue or something like that oh didn't want to paint let's go back in here and just pick a color off of here just so it stands out a little bit and there we have that now the interesting thing is once that's been swept I can actually grip this and change it okay now you have to be careful on how the baseline was and I'm obviously getting a little bit careless here but the fact is once you create that you know sweep you can grip on it you can move it around all over the place 
Okay, I'm going to erase that. And then the last option I have if you want to create a sweep around an edge. And basically we're talking about getting sweeps around the edges of our existing solid models. I'm going to go back and click on there and erase that 3D polyline. Remember, 3D poly is the command. And you might have to be careful with your snaps. You have to make sure you get your snaps. And I generally have all my O snaps turned on. You might want to just thin it down to one. The other option is to use the copy face tool. If I right click on here and go to my solid editing, I might want to go down and depending on how complicated that is, again, I'm trying to get a polyline to do the sweep because you cannot just sweep along the edge of a solid. So I need a polyline or a 3D polyline as we've just learned. So I can also go in here and say copy face and I can hover over here and hit enter and then I can maybe pick a point and copy that face from there to there. Okay, then I can maybe explode this or I can trace this or do whatever I want with this particular object. Okay, I can now draw a polyline, you know, and trace this around. You have to get creative, do whatever you want, and then move it, you know, from here back to here type of thing. And then go and do my sweep. Sweep this enter around this polyline right here and then we get our sweep that way okay so use copy face if you want copy face we have a specific tutorial on that where I can go in and pick a face like this and hit enter and then copy that over to here okay that's a region hit escape to get out of that command I can explode that I can trace it I can extrude it I can do a bunch of things with the copy face tool or I can you know just explode it for instance and then now I have an edge that I can use to use and then copy that back per chance okay um, to get the sweep so we're talking about the sweep and a couple of different ways of getting um, the polyline that you want um, to do the sweep with.